So here I have a Defiant rim cylinder. Um, these things, if you've been down the deadbolt aisle at Home Depot, you know these are the absolute cheapest deadbolt you can get at Home Depot. The whole deadbolt, last I checked, was like nine or ten dollars. Um, but they claim that there is three spools in here, quote, pick-resistant pins. I do believe this one has been re-keyed, but I think there's spools in here. I have picked this before. So let's pick it open and see what's inside. And if there are indeed spools, um, go with the top of the key wrench, and my Attila. There we go, click out three, two, oh, dropped into a false set, so there are spools. Kind of rotation on three. And one, time rotation, and we got this open. So, let's gut it. And see what's inside. And tip you guys down a bit. Um, and this, looks like it's got a clip and a crimped tailpiece, typical of these less expensive locks. So I will need a hollow follower. That's over. I'm going to need a shim for this. I'm going to need that tool. This. And I think that's it. We're going to lock this back up. And pop the C clip off. Maybe. Yep. C clip comes off. Let's do this. Take a shim. About, probably about time for a new shim. This one's looking kind of sad. Slide this in there. Without pushing the core out. That feels like it's all in. Take the follow. And... Maybe not rekey and maybe just a new key. I'm not really sure because those are double sided key pins. Typical of um, Defiant and Quick Set. And it's worth noting that you can see, I believe you can see, that this core is cut all the way down and then drilled. I see that in a lot of the uh, cheaper locks, uh, especially Defiant. Spool in one, which gave us kind of rotation. Standard in two, that spool came out three. And this is why I don't like a hollow follow because everything falls out of the back end like a poorly packed station wagon. And that's five, and that's a follow. Looks like all standard springs. And I do believe. might be mistaken. When I hold the space plate down, I hear something rattling down in the... Yes, there actually is a drill protection 
piece right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Yeah, you can see that. Right there. Actually, a drill protection plate. This clothes also skeletonized, but... Um, with these cheaper locks, what you tend to see is double side key pins that can be inserted either way, and fairly loose tolerances, which I can demonstrate by putting a key in. And you can see that pin can move back and forth. Let me hold this. Move back and forth a pretty good amount. And the looser tolerances make it a little bit easier to pick. So, but we do have spool, and then lock at this price point, that's not that bad of a deal. So, you can see all standard double side key pins, whoops, and a spool in one, three, and five, standard in two and four, and, um, people can probably use to quick set. And I, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but Quickset is actually a little bit better quality product than this. So, um, and just because I regularly show reassembling a lock on video, we're going to reassemble this one on video. But, um... These are often found on rental properties. Um, I've seen them on apartments even. Did I just lose the spring? Um, somewhere where the locks often replaced. And I'll, might do it, in fact I will do a video on how to reassemble and disassemble locks. It'll be three sep, it might even be four or five, but it'll definitely be a minimum of three videos. Um, we'll do a kick cylinder, we'll do a rim cylinder, and we'll do a mortar cylinder. Um, so, keep an eye out for those videos, and let's use our shim, because with this groove that the clip goes in, um, pins will sometimes like to get stuck in there, and that's never a good thing. Bound up on one of those spools. Let's do, let's do this. Let's insert it. Hold on, I'll spin this. Yeah. Yep, right underneath. And I'm just going to push this through. Lock that clip up. No, you lock that lock up. And I already did check that my key functions. And push this clip back on. Try not to stab myself in the hand. Okay, clips on. Lock works. And that's it for today. Well, for this video anyway. Thanks for watching.